Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new here, you are welcome. All right, guys. Do so you find yourself in a situation, right, with anybody? With anybody. Well, this is that person. This is them. So whoever you are in a connection with, relationship with, thinking about, we're going to check on their energy right now. We're going to see how do they feel about this connection, right? What are they thinking? Are they thinking about you? Do they ever think about you, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this is your person. This deck. Right here, right now. Whoever's on your mind, guys. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go. Guys, I am just the messenger. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for the collective. Help me make it as possible as possible. I see some that's already flipped. I don't want them flipped. All right, Holy Spirit, for the collective. This is your person. How is your person thinking or feeling about this connection right now, guys, right? How is your person thinking or feeling about this connection? What's going on with your person, if anything? So it looks like your person is releasing some devilish energy. They're cutting off communication with someone like this person here. They're very outspoken, like they're saying what they need to say to whoever they need to say it to. But they're still up in their head. They just want some peace and harmony, right? But they need to take the blind they, they need to take the blindfolds off. So it's like they don't want to talk to the devil no more, but they need to take the blindfolds off and reassess the situation. It's like they they don't want to talk to this person. They don't want to talk to this devil. They want to move away from this devil, but they're still up in their head about it. But they need to reassess the situation, guys, right? But it looks like they're thinking about ending it. It looks like they're thinking about ending it with this devil here. Your person is dealing with a lot of burdens right now. They're dealing with a lot of burdens right now. Um, it's almost like they do love you, but they're in the Ace of Cups. I don't know if they're being someone's security or they're helping someone else at the time. But it's too many burdens. I think this person loves you and they're trying to move on. It's like they're taking a look at where they're headed during their three of wands. But be careful because this person, they're still being sneaky, guys. They're, they're planning and they have hopes and stuff and everything, but they're being very sneaky. Right now, they're not offering their love to anybody. They're not offering their love to anybody, but they are trying to leave a situation. They could have just recently been in court. Secrets were revealed to this person, the high priestess in reverse. So secrets were revealed to this person. Could have been good or bad. And they took some losses. This person took some losses, but all is not lost. But I guess whatever happened in court, they did take some losses there. But now they're moving forward, like, very fast, trying to get to the finish. But your person is healing right now. They could be sick. They could be in the bed, laying down, taking time out. They need rest. It looks like they lost in court. They lost some, but they didn't lose all, right? But they do have the upper hand, but your person's tired. It's like they try to move on, but they're tired. They're a hermit. They so searching right now. And they, they just need some time alone. Their money's looking good, though. Your person's money's looking good. It's uh, Ten of Pentacles. They could have made some type of money agreement um, when they were in court. So they probably signed some type of money agreement. Could have been child support or anything like that. 
So they're healing from all of this. This Ten of Swords in reverse. They just heal it from all of these woes. All of the back and forth. So now they're undecided what they want to do. After court, after the divorce, it's like they just need to take a step out of the situation, guys. And look at things more clearly to see what they want to go and what they want to do. But they're not celebrating anything. Although they could have won in court, it's not anything worth celebrating. Three of Cups in reverse. But it could also be an ending for whoever they was with. What else is going on with your person? Seven of Pentacles. It's like they're not frustrated anymore. Now they don't have to put in that hard work into something that they don't want. So this is definitely an ending. This is a death card, guys. The situation, this is an ending. So they're looking forward to their new beginning. However, this their Six of Cups, the past there, they don't want anything in that past, right? It's like they don't have good memories, fond memories of the past. They do have some regrets. Your person lost some money. But not all. All is not lost. It's five of cups. They have enough to salvage. They have enough to move on. Yeah, this is the tower. It was something that kind of hit happened fast. It kind of hit. It's something that happened very quickly at a lightning pace. So I don't know if your person saw it coming or this and that. But if your person was cheating and got caught out there, uh, sir, ma'am, you have to see it coming, right? You have to see it coming. You fuck up, it's coming. So they said it happened fast, but now your person is moving on. They're in their chariot. And it seems like they're coming back to you. And they're hoping that they have this victory. They're coming back and they hope that what they tell you is good news. Improvements are underway, but there's still some delays around this person. They could be in church, guys, a place of worship. But they are hopeful. They see you as a star. They think, you know, maybe you're a star for real, like a real star. Maybe you're rich. But this person knows that if they get with you, they shouldn't become too greedy or whatever. So they feel weak when it comes to you. They've been watching you, though. It's fine. Reflecting back. Yada, yada. Anything else for the collective spirit? So this is what's going on with your person. King of Pentacles in reverse is divorce. Queen of Wands in reverse. They left that person. Two of Wands upright. They're trying to move. Probably near some water or something like that. Seven of Cups. And they're realizing all that glitter was not gold. And once they step out of this situation, their money will improve. They got the Wheel of Fortune after that, guys. They weren't happy there. Nine of Cups in reverse. No emotional fulfillment. And now their money is... Their, money's in, their money is improving. It's funny, guys. Sometimes people don't realize it, that <clears throat> you can be in a relationship and then you realize, like, you're losing money. You're doing this. You don't like your job. You don't like this. You're not talking to your friends. You're not doing all of these things, right, while you're in this troublesome relationship, right? And then when you finally get enough nerve to leave that relationship, it's like the dark shadows leave, the weighted, the extra weight leaves, um... You're creative again. You're happy again. You're upbeat. You're spending time with your friends. You're doing this. You're doing that. You're doing this. That's because you're probably in a relationship that ran its course. Not that you shouldn't have been in it, but it's run its course to where now you're unhappy in the relationship and it's affecting all the other parts of your life. So, your person's finally leaving. So, guys, this is your person and then I'm going to upload this and then the next one is going to be how you're feeling about the situation because this is how your person's feeling about the situation all right guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe peace and if you're a pisces or dating a pisces check me out guys on the pisces channel boop